Three, two, one. Hi, welcome to the Fear for Faircast. I'm Fear for, and here's the Faircast. Today I'm joined here by Sam. Um, Ass Eater sixty nine four twenty. I don't know if I can pick that up at all, but I guess we'll find out. Ass Eater sixty nine four twenty. Nice. Move over. All of you move closer. Yeah. All right. Um, today we had a. <laughs> that's that's staying in. Uh, today we all had a hangout with uh Sam Yen. I'm sorry, Crab Sauce E. Uh, oh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Mad Max, uh, Matt, and uh, Izzy, our cool lesbian, who is four weeks face. You should go check her out on Instagram. Um, and Canadian Sweater, and... Meme Scream 777. And Lord Minion 777. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Shit, they can't know you really, Wade. Wade? I don't have a, his voice. What kind of name is Wade? That's Mark Fly's friend's name, Wade. It's it's the one they. Name. It's the one they. It's he's the friend they constantly shit on, but like, and the f fans always get really upset, but they don't realize that that's like just their friendship is just like razzling each other. Yami Mash. Yami Mash. I briefly remember Yami Mash. Yeah, he like doesn't exist anymore. I. Like, Markiplier he's never killed on Markiplier's. him. I went on to Markiplier's like channel, um, and to, I went to like his um like related channels. Like he doesn't have like anything linked, like no like friends or anything. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> Markiplier. Mark, all his friendships. I don't know what happened. Ron, like, why is that? Like, you have a lot of swastika shaped things in your house. Like, look at that picture frame over there. Well, yeah, it's because I'm Hindu, and in the Hindu language, that means, like, peace. Unfortunately, we got our, uh, we got our... the guy who ruined both the swastika and the chaplain mustache. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, Hitler, Hitler was the ugliest dictator. Like, like, like Alex said, have you ever seen a picture of, like, young Joseph Stalin? I have seen young Joseph Stalin. He's a stud. Like, he looks like he sells cocaine on the side, but he, he look, he's a stud. What did Hitler look like as a child? Hang on. Young Hitler. Like, young Shelton? <laughs> New hit <team. laughs> You know the guy who, like, plays Shelton for Big Bang Theory was gonna, like, make, like... He wanted to make, like, a TV show where he's gay, and, like, it's, like, a gay sitcom. Did he? He wants to. Did he ever get it off the ground? No, like, young Sheldon was off the ground, though. Alright, so, I found some pictures of young Hitler, and he, like, looks the same. Like, for the most part. See. Like, I'm trying, I don't know which one of these are real. Because some of them, he has, like, a really impressive mustache. That just looks like mid Midwestern boy. Okay, then there's like th this one where his face is longer. That is that one... just Chapman? Huh? That's not. Is it? I no. I bring traps. You eat so much food. Don't put it on my laptop. Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a threat. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> now that was Charlie Chaplin. He wore eyeliner. Hitler did not. If you, if you ever want to distinguish the two, just look at the eyes. Man, imagine if Hitler did wear eyeliner. Like, how. Well, that would be like. That would completely change the entire like, cosmetic industry. The probably. thing is, Hitler like has a really um fat face. Like he his, he's very round. Like mm. kind of like look at his head. It's very bulbous. I think being a bad boy does that to you. Having big brain energy. Like, he had a, he had a micro penis. And um, one ball. One ball and a gimp arm. But that, maybe that's why his arm kept doing that. Like maybe it was just like maybe he was like trying to like you know. You know, wave or something, but his gimp arm like wouldn't allow for arm for hand movement. The fucking Nazi salute is the fucking result of his gimp arm. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yo, I looked up, I looked up Hitler, and like I scrolled down a little bit, and just a picture of Einstein came up. <laughs> this is a great way to like start off a podcast. Yeah, not even a picture of Einstein, just like like a, like a candid picture of Einstein. We, we went from talking about Alex. Screaming into the void. It's a mark apply. It's a Wait, Hitler. Me screaming into the void. Can I have one of those chips. Lord meme sc scream. Stop. Big crunch. Alex, yeah, can we get a big crunch for the mic? Move ASMR. Yeah, ASMR. Yeah, come on, just here. All right. Wait. I need to do the crunch. Yeah, no, but come up to the mic. This cord stretches like ten feet. Oh, that's gonna be loud. Alright, bring it back. Thank bring you. It back. That's gonna be really loud when I have to edit that out later. 
All right, don't edit it out. That's why we did it. No, not edit it out, but like I won't have to edit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be my headphones in, and it's gonna be like, so yeah, talking, and then crunch. Oh, oh, why did I do that? Oh no. <laughs> So I think. Anyways, look. So I think um, the next talk. I think the next topic should be, Alexa call mom. Anyway, I think the <laughs> next topic should be about this paranoid uh, paranormal room that we're in right now in my house that I absolutely hate being in after three a.m. because weird shit starts happening in here. This is like a nice room, but the more you like nitpick things, the more you start noticing just how off everything in this room is. Like how every single picture frame. That's gonna be really loud. I put it here. Like every single picture frame is like about is tilted, but not in the same w- direction. The one's behind you, yeah. Yeah, the clock is always the constantly. Hell is this? The clock on the wall is an hour ahead, and every time we try to reset it, it always um resets itself to an hour ahead. The bathroom slides. The bathroom door slides open and doesn't lock. And also, I think the most terrifying thing is the fact that the air vents just decide to turn on and off on their own. The ventilation in the bathroom turns on and off on its own. And also, if all, you turn all the lights off and it's completely dark, there will be a light uh. piercing into the TV, even when the TV is off. And I look, out, and I look outside, and, it's, and the moon's just is the moon's completely blotted out by like clouds, and there's no neighborhood lights on, but there's just a fucking reflection of like a white light. What on do you the TV. Mean? What do you, let's do it. No, I'm okay. scared. You have two it's friends. really fucking weird. I will have had two friends. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> I want you to die. Like I don't fucking like. Maybe it's just like weird, like moonlight reflecting in at a weird angle or some shit. But like I don't know. Park, 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 park. <laughs> Uh, you know what wasn't spooky, though, was this, we had a hangout today. Rorik, I don't like that. What? Oh, uh, that, like, the paranormal stuff that happens in this room makes me, like, gives me anxiety. It's fine. Maybe that's why, like, when I walked into that bathroom, I, like, I was I was struck with PTSD. It's not a, I was I, like, oh, I like, saw a ghost once. You oh. did? <clears throat> right, let's, let's talk about that for a sec. What's up? <clears throat> yeah, when I was, like, um... Basically, whenever I'm... I, I don't remember... Like, my age, when all this shit happened when I was young, so I just assume I was, like, five or something. Mm-hmm. But I was, like, really small. And, um, I lived in the upstairs of my house. And, um, basically, my room across from my parents' room and to the left is, uh, the bathroom. And then straight to the right is, like, the stairs to go down. And, um, <clears throat> at the bottom of the stairs... Directly ahead is my front door. To the left is the living room, and to the right is like the dining room and whatnot. And I was at the, the top of the stairs, and I just I was like screwing around with my um, older sister, and then I just ran out into the, the middle of like the in between the two my, the two rooms and like in front of the bathroom. And I, I turned to the to the to the right, and I just see this um, lady um, who was wearing like this big like extravagant dress it was like a it wasn't like a wedding dress but it was like it was like that length but it was like you know not puffy or anything it was Mm -hmm. just like sort of like all flat and whatnot and then she sort of just like hovered from the living room into the dining room and then i like turned to like my sister to like and i was like thinking should i get her or and then i run downstairs and then there's i go to live to the dining room there's no one there and then i go back to the the living room and there's no one there either so i thought nothing of it and then i told my dad later on he's like are you what the hell was that <laughs> like that's probably a ghost and so yeah Did your dad believe in ghosts alex yeah really like like is that like a christian thing I heard this oh, yeah, sound. Religion, yeah. There's I is occasionally that ghosts or spirits occasionally in this room um when i'm leaving like it's not every time but like if you, uh, if you're about to leave this room and it's like, mm, what? You want me sh- do you want me to share this information or not? I mean, yeah. yeah, do it. If you, if you turn the TV off and you wait like completely for it to like turn off, like click off, um, and you wait like a couple seconds, you can hear like a. 
sound. And I and I don't know if that's just like weird like stag from the TV or something, but like it's like very like situational. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like I don't, I don't even believe in ghosts or shit. You don't? No, not like necessarily. I do like like when I'm like alone and shit, and I um like you know you always get like paranoid and it's like oh like well, what if? Yeah. Um. I think, like, the only time I think, like, I've seen anything relatively ghost-like is when I was, like, a little kid. I was in the Pines of Parrington, um, and I was just, like, watching, like, some TV. Um, the lights were, like, all on, and, like, I, like, looked around the corner, and, like, there was this, like, it's like, it kind of looked, like, really, like, extremely, like, transparent cloth, and it was just kind of, like, wisping around. Kind of like a... Was it a curtain? No, it wasn't a curtain. It was just, like, it looked like it was just, like, it looked like it was just, like, you know, like, one of those, like, stereotypical cartoon ghosts that kind of just, like, look like something with a sheet over it? Yeah. Like, just like a ball? Casper? Yeah, it was, no, no, it was kind of like... Casper's humanoid. It's like, it just looks like a ball that has, like, a white drape over it. Yeah, like, like, saw, like, like, like what you like do in Halloween kindergarten. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then, like, it looked like it was, like, the circle part looked like it was peering over from that, behind the door. And then I, I turned my head and I, like, whisked away, and this is kind of, like, long, like, ghost tail. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck was that? And then, like, I kept going, I looked around the corner more, and it was like... And just gone, like, every so often when, in the pines, I would just see, like, that, like, ghost wisp. But then, like... Spooky. Yeah, it wasn't really this... So you don't though. believe in ghosts? Not really, no. We have to spend a night in this room, alone. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> then so you believe in ghosts? I I believe in de... Maybe not demons, I just don't like being alone. Are, like, demons, like, in the in Hindu? Yeah, but they can... You fucking... Okay, I don't know if it was... I don't... Uh, All religions have like some kind of yeah. demon. There's a fucking uh, thing in uh, Hindu religion where there's a uh, Kali, which is like the black, um, the, go the black goddess of like death and death, war and destruction. And she has, she has this, she she had to fight this like this um like demon that like every time it, like a drop of its blood touched the ground, it like mm -hmm. replicated. Yeah. And so, like the like the like you know the army would like try to destroy it, but like they couldn't because it kept bleeding and creating more soldiers. So she literally just like picked it up and dr like drained of its all its blood. And, like, every time like a drop would like escape her grasp, she would just like grasp and just shove it back in her mouth. And like all the other guys had to like tell her to calm the fuck down. And then she's like, okay, that's the end of the story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> calm down. It's like oh. Perhaps I should. All right. You know what? I will. And then she did. What's the scariest story in the Hindu religion? Um, I don't know. The, one that I don't know if it's the scariest, but uh, like most disturbing. Like, there's a lot of disturbing ones in like Christianity. Uh, like, the, the the I think the lot Hindu one is like, don't be an asshole, or else lying people will come and kill you. Oh, okay. Like I think the, the one I remember the most is there was a there was a king that was really conceited and he didn't he hated the poor, so. Uh, um, one of his servants was like, you know, one of these days the gods are going to smite you. And he's like, they can try. And then, like, this this lion dude, this fucking, like, who's the dude from Thundercats? <laughs> the main character. Lion-O? Yeah, li fucking lion -O, This lion -O looking dude, but, like, more ripped somehow, burst out of one of the pillars in, like, in his castle. And, um, <laughs> grabs him like a child and, like, gores him at the threshold at the threshold of the door and then like the king's like but i'm like blessed by the gods that like no man or beast can kill me and he's like i'm not man or beast i'm neither but also both and he's like but i was also blessed to never be able to kill outside or inside my house and he's like we're at a threshold of your door that's neither inside or outside and then he fucking kills him right there and then all oh the servants goodness. are like and all the servants are like, oh, wow, you killed him. Nice job. And no one's, like, surprised at all. They're like, yeah. I'm That's what happens. Uh, uh, my, God my crazy religion. The God Fury, the God Fury killed him. <laughs> and then, uh, then I don't know what happened after that. Like, your king died. I don't know what happened to the economy. But everyone was really happy about it. And they made, like, one of, like, the small servants boy the new king. And he made everyone happy. And I guess that's... The... Don't be an asshole, I guess. I think one of the most, I think one, that's like one of like the one that I think scared me the most as a child. I think the one that to this day, like when you think about it, is the most like, is the most disturbing is the one about the, uh, the fish that wanted to test the king's generosity. No, it was a God that wanted the to, fish. There was, it was a God that disguised itself as like a, a helpless fish and wanted to see how like far it could push a king's generosity. Yeah. So it was, 
so the king was, you know, just like patrolling his kingdom, making sure everything was fine. Uh, and he goes upon, he he find, he hears a voice coming from a pond about <laughs> that's a great distress. And he finds a little fish, being like, "Oh, I'm a small fish, and these like bigger fish and predators are gonna kill me. Like, please, like take pity on me and take me into your castle and protect me." So he takes this like little guppy and brings Aww. it to his castle into a little fish bowl. But then the fish grows bigger, and it's like, "I need a bigger fish bowl so I can be comfy." Comfy. So he puts it in like a bucket, and then like a bathtub, and then the swimming pool. And then, like, a small pond. And then, like, into the ocean. And it keeps growing bigger and bigger. And the king's just like, I don't have anywhere else to put you. If I did, I would. And the, the, and the, the, god, the goddess comes out and is just like, hey, you're a really nice, generous dude. You can, I'll bless your kingdom with great, like, harvest. And I'm like, that's a really great story and all. But can we just, like, take a minute to consider the prospect of this ginormous-ass f- goddamn fucking catfish like, have you ever, have you ever, have you guys ever just taken a moment to stare at a fish in, like, darkness, in the murky water, They're and how dead. terrifying they look, with their, like, bugged out eyes, and, like, <laughs> they're, like, a billion stare, a billion mile stare that goes absolutely nowhere. Yeah, because they can't see, they can't see that far. They don't have to be looking at you, but somehow they stare, like, into even the most, like, deepest recents of your soul. Imagine that. But it's a fish that is too big for the goddamn ocean staring back at you. That terrifies me. Like, that's why I don't want to go in the ocean. Because there are tuna that weigh more than me. There, there are tuna that are, like, the size of that carpet right there. Like, tuna are humongous fish. It's scary. Big. It's like, have you seen a sunfish, like, next to a diver? It's terrifying. They're so big. They couldn't eat them because, like, they have, like, the nutritional value of, like, a rice cracker. Because all they do is filter feed. And, like, they, they get, like, chunks bitten out of them by sea lions. They don't even know. They're, like, do, they're, like, um, whatever, whatever whooper evolves more. into. Quagsire. Like Slowpoke? Yeah. Like, like, like Quagsire, like, can get, like, hit by, like, the, the, um, the motor of a boat and, like, not notice. It's like, out. It just goes unconscious each time. So, um, Sasha, what is the, um, what is, what is the, um, most scariest Christian story that you can think of? I don't know. Like, from, from, like, from the Bible, like, what's, what's one that you don't like? I can't think of any right now. No? Mm. I remember I took a mythology, co- I, I remember I took a mythology course over, uh, this, uh, summer, and we had to read a lot about, like, different religions and shit. And uh, one of the, I think one of the things we, what I think what I noticed a lot was that um, Nordic mythology is really gay, and so is Greek mythology. Like, mm. it's it, homosexuality was a big staple in like Greek and Roman. Yeah, society. like it, I was reading this thing about like the how like young men, the things they had to do to like be considered like men, like from like boys to men. And so one mm-hmm. of the things where they, they were like. Take, like, some, like, you know, some real fit-toned boys, like, 13 years old, 9 to 13 years old, and then they'd, like, put them in this, like, kind of, like, cage, and then, like, they would have, like, older men go up to them and just, like, oh. make sexual advance- sexual advancements, and apparently, like, being, like, fucked in the ass was, like, this huge thing, because oh. it's, like, oh, if you can endure the pain, that means you're a real what man. The hell? And I'm, like... Like, it's, uh, it's pretty gay. <laughs> it's not gay, like, ooh, ooh, my, my soft Tumblr boyfriend, it's, um, 45-year-old man and, like, a 16-year-old, and, like, they have a weird... 50-year-old, 50-year-old man shoves his cock into 8-year-old boy. It's, it's like Plato and Socrates, like, the, the mega minds of the world, and they, like, canonically, like, had, like, bo- boy slaves that, that they'd fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> also, the whole, like, thing in the, um, what was it, the Iliad? Well, the, 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 I think his name was, like, Diomedes and, um, something else. And they, like, they just, they just, they just showed up at each other's houses and it's like, hey, friend. And they showed up, they saw each other on the battlefront, the battlefield and like, like, my friend, I can't fucking kill you. And, like, they trade, like, saddles and shit. And, like, one of them trades, like, a leather, like, worthless saddle for, like, a fucking gold armor that's worth, like, ten times his weight. In like monetary value, but like it's, it's like no, no, that's that's not the money that matters. It's the <laughs> bromance they made, and I can only imagine that they fucked afterwards. <laughs> if my history teacher is listening to this, he'll know that I never actually read the entire Iliad, and I only 
reference that one part. The Iliad you... is the is the worst one. Like the Odyssey is like a million times better than the Iliad. I don't know. Yes, it is. Trojan War is pretty lit. Yeah. Okay. What's more lit? Uh, Trojan War where they're fighting, or the Odyssey where there's literal monsters and like mystic Ach- Achilles. beasts. Achilles. Angry Achilles. The, great, the greatest warrior that okay. has ever lived. There's like Prometheus, uh, Prometheus or whatever, the, the Cyclops. You mean Prometheus? Prometheus. There's Prometheus. Promo the, cities. And, then, <laughs> and diabetes. How, how are we all wrong? <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> and, and then there's like, you know, the Sirens and like the like the Hydra. There's a lot of cool things in that like story. Mm. And the Iliad was just like, war. And it was born. It was born. It's a good it's a good book, but it's not as good as the Odyssey. The Odyssey like slaps. Slaps cheese. <laughs> I'm some stupid thing. Dang. I uh. <laughs> Slapping my ass. Is I read. I agree with you. I think the. I think the Odyssey is more like it's more um adventurous. Ow. But um the. So as Alex is just domestically violating this woman. <laughs> She's dead now. <laughs> I think the, the Odyssey is more adventurous and the Ilya is more, like, trying to connect with, like, human emotion. Like, the, the king of, uh, Troy, he's, like, he, he, uh, he built this entire, like, life around being, like, I'm not gonna let my, like, f-. he's, like, Troy is my family and I'm not gonna let her, like, get killed. And he has, like, a wife and daughter and, like, he gets killed and his Wait, wife Hector? and daughter, what? Hector? Yeah, and, like, he has, his wife, his wife and daughter have to, like, watch, like, everything die and be, like, was this worth it? Like, was... Was any of this, like, bloodshed worth it? War. Yo, War. Paris was a massive pussy. Paris? I don't remember Paris. Yeah, go, go through the, uh, the Iliad, Sasha, because you clearly know more about it. Read the entire Iliad to me, please. <laughs> Audiobook time. Hey, guys, this is my Iliad uh, walkthrough. Today we're going to be reading the, um, the Iliad. Achilles makes moist <laughs> milk sounds as he's angry. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Push the under YouTube channel, Crab Stomp. Yeah. It's lifted up, I can find it. <laughs> but there's like videos of like oh, crabs. My knowledge of the stuff. Iliad is mostly from the movie Troy. It's not, not the and, same um, thing. How is it not the same thing? It's not the same <laughs> You gotta read the book. <laughs> you can't be like, <laughs> what? Why is Jen's profile with John YouTube Tom Tom and Jerry. Next time in Jerry. You can't like, you can't be like, oh, I'm a real big fan of Alex or Les Airbender, then watch Shamalama Ding Dong's god awful train wreck <laughs> excuse of a movie. But Holy Troy is crap. accurate, I'm assuming. <laughs> Have you read the book? No. No, read the book. You gotta compare and contrast. Holy well, shit. in the movie, fucking Paris is a massive fucking pussy. He's like, I love Helen, so I, I'll fight for her. And then he gets his shit kicked in, and then fucking Hector has to stand it, step in and save his shitty little ass. The whole war started because Paris is like, I, 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 I'm, I'm selfish, and oh, love prevails over everything. Yeah, you know what that caused? Literally the destruction of your entire fucking father's nation, and then the death of your father himself, like, fucking contributed nothing. All he did was kill Achilles, and then that's it. I mean, he killed Achilles. Yeah, but I fucking hate him so much. Achilles or Paris? Paris. He just fucking gets a, 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 a cheat, like, sh- shoots Achilles in his heel. Yeah. Yen is, Yen is so good. Wait, what happened? I just, it's just the introduction to his channel. It's like, hey, everybody, <laughs> welcome to my channel. <laughs> He's so good. I love you. Please, guys, subscribe to the Crab Stomp on YouTube. Good boy. The one with the Tom and Jerry um, image. Yeah, Tom and Jerry icon. Good, good dude. Also, subscribe to this channel, please. <laughs> and mine. <laughs> We're, 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 we're not gonna name mine. <laughs> What's yours? You can find it. It'll, fi- it'll, don't, it'll find you. <laughs> exactly. When you, least, great hits, when you like... least expect it or want it to, <laughs> it will find you. <laughs> it'll come with recommendations. You'll be like, What's this? It's like, Bad and sitters. sitters. And man gets, gets, gets <laughs> a squirrel and gets an unexpected <laughs> gift. Which is like five minutes long, but nothing happens for the first f- four and a half, and then the last ten seconds are. And who could forget and, and, such classics such as The Rude Age Storm? <laughs> the what? The Rude Age Storm. The Age Storm. It's a dude sandstorm, but it's with the, the, the Age of Empires 2 glitch where 
I, my, my villagers were freaking out, so I'm like, hey, let's make a meme of this. And such classics, vintage classics from the old days of YouTube, such as Spore Swag, which I, I think, think I, I like that one. I really like that one. What other fucking... Wait, no, 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 we can't tell... <laughs> wait, wait, we can't tell them all the videos. They gotta find it themselves. This is like... They gotta find it themselves. This is like how what Drawfee does with Cartoon Hell. They give you a taste of it, but then like, no, 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 no. You gotta subscribe... You gotta... You gotta subscribe to that monthly subscription feature in order to... Oh, no, what are you watching? Which one is this? <laughs> <laughs> he cried. <laughs> here's the audio. Here's a, here's, a, here's a sneak peek audio. That's just... That's all you get. That's just Funeral Marge. That's all you get. You don't know what's on it, but you can find out if you if, go to my channel. <laughs> if your channel goes... Yeah, your channel will find him. You, if you hate being... If you hate the content on this channel, you're gonna love slash hate the content on his channel. And I like the content on your channel, Ronick. You just never post... He'll, he'll link it in the description, don't worry. I won't. It'll, I don't need to. It'll just find you. But I'll do it anyway, I guess. What's this? Congratulations, you are known foot. Congratulations, you have earned oh, a warrior yeah. name, foot. Guess what, guys? <laughs> I know you were... The, the trailer for Dragon Blade 2 was, you know, epic, and y'all been waiting for it for forever. Can you not say But guess what? It's been out for a year. And it's the same length as the trailer. <laughs> Literally both one minute long. <laughs> exactly. You, you, you didn't plan that, it just happened. 1.00. Oh yeah, there's a meme, which is you getting um, hit by the Star Trek. Oh yeah, yeah. well don't tell him that. Holy shit. Wait, what the fuck? This isn't everything on my channel. What the hell? We gotta let him find out themselves. What's, is, what's missing from his channel? Find out for yourself. Uh. <laughs> oh, there they are. What they the your speed paint with African rhythmic drums in the background. Yeah, no, please don't look at that video. If you want to have, like, a very confused heart attack and, like, a seizure midway through your lunch, um, please watch that video. But otherwise, if you want to be a sane, healthy member of society, don't watch that. Don't watch any of my videos except for. One video, <laughs> and it's called "End Me." It's called "End Me." Yeah. I think it's a good self autobiography <laughs> of my like eternal existence, uh, just like the eternal existence of all the demons that live in this room. I don't like to stare at the walls for too long. Why? They use green slime. No, they just make me really anxious. No, Nick, you're like ma making me scared. Let's see, we're uh, running low on time. Um, so if we live, well, I'll, well, I'll, this will be posted. But uh, yeah, next time we'll see if we live this horrible, horrible room at night. But uh, until then, this has been the Fairport Faircast. I'm Fairport, and this is my Faircast. Nice. Uh -huh. Let's say our names. You don't. I don't have. You don't have to. Sam. You guys want to plug anything before we leave? Um, okay, ten seconds my, each. Check my channel. Yeah. So subscribe to Crab Stomp. And that's. That is all. Hentai. Hentai.